Hi kids, good morning and welcome to our Adventures in Christ. It is Korean World and hope you guys are always okay, okay? So stay right there and we are going to tell you a lot of things right now. Oh, yes, this is a magic wand, right? Okay, you always see this every time I, you know, I have a picture like this. Now, what's the color of my magic wand? It's black and white. How many magic wands do I have here? There's one, because there's only one God. But I tell you, one God in three persons. God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, and God, uh, God the Son. That's Jesus, right? Okay, so what color is this again? It's black and white. No, there's blue. Okay, so how many do you think do I have here? There's black and blue, but what is this? There's three magic wand here right okay always remember okay one god in three persons and our story later okay will speak about this kind of magic about drunkenness sinning destroying oneself okay and of course alcoholism is not good it can make a person slave and crave for for alcohol every day okay on his life but then you can only get rid of your sin of this slavery when you surrender it to God right okay so I'm gonna use this magic cloth here I'm gonna cover the, the bottle okay and it's there right it's right there okay, as you can see it's right there now kids but which one do you want? You want it with with cloth or no cloth? Who says with cloth? Who says no cloth? Okay, let's take all the cloth, okay? And then what's this? What's this? Say Jesus, because only Jesus can take away our sin. One, two, three. Jesus! Jesus! Where's the bottle? The wine bottle? It's gone, right? Because when we surrender ourselves, our sin, our struggles to God, He is able to change us and take it away. Right? Is it good news or bad news? It's the best news, right? Only Jesus can take away the sin of the world. That's what the Bible said. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Okay? This one symbolizes a person living in darkness with these white spots symbolizes the sin also. The sin of cheating, sin of lying, disobeying the parents, sin of hurting other people, sin of maybe murder, killing, and lots of evil things in this world. That's the bad news. The Bible said in Romans 3.23, it says there, For the wages of sin, no, no, for all have sinned and fall short for the glory of God. Okay, in Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through who? Jesus! And Jesus came to take away the sin of the world. And of course, it's empty inside, right? There's nothing in there, right? Okay, and we can put it back there. Okay, can you shout Jesus at the count of three? One, two, three. Jesus! Jesus! What's the color of the can again? Oh, where are the white spots of sins? It's gone because again, Jesus took away the sin of the world. My sin, your sin, and all of our sins, Jesus took it away. Okay, that's the best news that you can ever hear. Right, now this time, kids, I have a question. Have you experienced riding in a boat? Okay, some of you have spent riding in a small boat. How about a big boat, a ship? Yes, some of you have tried it also, right? Okay, now our story is about a guy that God told him to make or build a big, big boat. It's called, yes, the ark. 
And who was that guy? It's Noah, right? Noah was a righteous guy and he found favor from God. But God saw that the whole earth was filled or full of evil, wickedness, and he was so sad, right? Okay, and then he said that he's going to cleanse the whole earth, removing all the evil things. And so, he asked Noah to build an ark made of cypress wood. And the size of the ark is 450 feet long and 75 feet high and 45 feet wide. That's how big the ark or the boat that God asked Noah to build. And Noah, I think, was the first guy who built the largest boat, right? Okay. And so, Noah was working on it. He built the ark on top of the mountain. Why not near the ocean? That's why the people were saying, Noah is crazy. Look, he said that there's a huge rain coming. But the sky is so bright. It's crazy. It's kind of nuts. He's building a boat on top of the, of the mountain. And they were mocking and, and, you know, still doing those evil things. They were drunk, drunk cars, you know, uh, killing, stealing, all the evil things. And so, Noah has three sons, okay? Can you name them? Oh, oh okay. It's Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Ham, Shem, and Japheth, okay? And they have three, uh, each one of them also has wives, okay? One wife, right? And so they help each other building the ark that God made. And then again, Noah was warning, people, please get in the ark. When the ark was done, okay? He, he asked the people to, to get in the ark because a huge rain is coming, a flood is coming. And so people still mocking Noah. Then God said, okay, send pairs of animals inside the ark. Okay, send them in. And the ark, you know, has three like stories. Okay, the bigger animals lower here and, and the birds maybe are up there. And so all the creeping animals, the large animals, the birds are started getting inside the ark. And so, when it started drizzling, oh, it started raining, said, oh, okay, it's just drizzle. But then, it started getting heavier and heavier. And then, the people were, were shouting at Noah because the, it's already flooded. Okay, it's rising, the water is rising and rising on top of the mountain. And people were, were racing towards the ark and knocking. But God has shut the door and no one can open it except for God alone. Remember kids, when you hear the good news, your heart should be open and take advantage of receiving the good news, right? Because time will come, we will never hear the good news or the word of God anymore. And so they keep on knocking, Noah, let us in, let us in. But then the door can't be open anymore. And so those people were drowned even if they were, you know, good swimmers, yet they drowned. They can stay longer in the water. And so the flood and the rain, okay, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, right? That's very long. And then the flood, you know, the, the, the boat was swaying, swaying, and people, you know, I experience, I, I feel dizzy when, when, the, when the boat is rocking the waves, you know, we become scared. But if we are in the boat, if we are in Jesus, those rocky waves, you know, those, those darkness, the waves, the rains can't affect us. We are all safe in the hand of God. 
And so the flood stayed for 120 days. And so Noah let the, 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 the raven out to find if there, there's land already or there's like vegetation. And so the bird was flying and flying and flying, came back, you know, nothing. And after seven days, he let go again of that bird and then didn't come back anymore. Hmm, I don't know why. Okay. And so Noah sent out the dove also. So the dove was flying and flying and he came back because there's no land, right? He came back and then after seven days, Noah let go of the dove again. And it came back with a twig, you know, with leaves, sign of life that there's vegetation, there's there's land. Okay, so the water, the flood have, have subsided, has declined already, right? And so the ark of Noah landed on top of Mount Arara. And God opened the door and then all the animals went out and Noah built an altar, thanksgiving to God for making them safe. And God made a sign in the sky, a rainbow. That means that God will not send deludes or flood anymore all over the earth. Right? Kids, when we are in God's hands, we are safe. Safety is found not in the absence of danger but in the presence of God, right? Okay, so some kids will be memorizing our verse last time and some kids will be mem memorizing also the verse today. Our memory verse is found in Acts 4.12. It says there that salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. And that is in Christ. Acts 4.12. Yes, okay, hope you guys have, have enjoyed our story and the magic tricks, okay? Now, we'll be seeing you again next week. God bless you guys. Again, safety is found in God's presence. Have Jesus in your hearts. Bye-bye.